Hello and Tanse, ladies and gentlemen, Oki. First and foremost, I would like to acknowledge the Blackfoot people, the Blackfoot Confederacy. Calgary is known as the Treaty 7 territory, and I would like to acknowledge the ancestors of the Blackfoot people for which we walk with the utmost respect on their traditional lands. I'm here today to share with you on how to live your life in a circle. Simply by just living in a circle. We can relate to the greatest circle of all time as human beings and it's simply just called time. Now, time has a continuous flow. It goes around and around. And like a river, it continuously flows. Like a tree, it continuously grows. And each and every one of us, through the processes and phases of Mother Earth, we experience that time and we grow. And that brings us to the wheel of energy. And ever since the beginning of time, our ancestors have been fascinated by the invention and the creation of the wheel. And even to this day, it is still very important in our technology, our energy, our way of life. And the smallest form of energy is in a circle. So we must always keep that circle strong. Now the hoop dance has taught me how to live my life in a circle, literally by dancing in circles for the past 22 years as a hoop dancer. It has brought me full circle in my own life from being somebody who knew nothing about dancing and hoops to becoming a three-time world champion hoop dancer. Now the hoop dance has saved my life because when I was 13, I ended up in jail and I ended up in a bad path in my life. And when I was introduced to the hoop dance and my Cree culture and our traditions, it changed me and it made me and brought me closer to the circle and it brought me closer to believing in myself. So I guess it's safe to say that I'm the real Lord of the Rings. Now I'd like to share with you these sacred circle teachings that we have with the hoop dance. It teaches us that the circle has no beginning and no end. And ever since the beginning of time, our ancestors have practiced these ways. It has never been written, but it has always been told through our oral traditions that the hoop dance is one of the oldest dances of North America. And in this dance, we honor the sacred circle in, in many different ways in our ceremonies. And the original hoop dance ceremony, it was a dance performed not for an audience, not for how it is today, but it was done as a ceremony in prayer to help restore balance and harmony in the world. So in the hoop dance, we always honor those four sacred directions of Mother Earth. We honor the four types of life on the Mother Earth. And originally, that ceremony it's still very much part of the performance that you're about to see today. And what I've come to know in my lifetime as a hoop dancer is what goes around, comes around, always, in a circle. Some call that the boomerang effect. What comes around, what you put out into the universe always comes back to you. So if you want to put out positive energy into the universe, it'll always come back to you in that way, in that positive light. So that's what I've come to know as a hoop dancer as well. It's taught me about balance. What we do on the left side, we have to do on the right side of our body. And we have to create that momentum and flow. And that's another thing that hoop dance has taught us, is that we must go with the flow of nature because once we go against the flow, then we disrupt that energy and it stops. And there's no more flow. So that's what hoop dancing has taught me over the years, we must have that flow to keep going. Now, in your personal life, in your professional life, we have to have that balance too. Some of us work too much. Some of us are workaholics and we don't have a personal life. Well, that can cause us to be stressed and unbalanced and unhealthy. And then some of us know people that don't work enough, that have too much free time and can't support themselves. So there's an unhealthy balance there too. So that's what the hoop dance teaches us, creating those healthy ripples 
that healthy balance within the, the sacred circle and the hoop. It teaches us to create those healthy circles around us. But first, we must be healthy first. And then we create those healthy circles right around us. So we help people. We help people. In our culture, we call that, our elders train us from a young age, and that's called uh, being a waskopios. In the Cree language, that basically just means the helper. And the role of the waskopios is to help out with the Sundance Lodge, or the Sweat Lodge, or the feast, or the ceremonies, or everything that is part of our culture. And it's, it's very uh, highly respected role to play as a Wiscopios, and that's what I am. I am a Wiscopios as well. So when I go back home, I help out. I help out with our ceremonies. I help out with our elders. And I'm always willing to help somebody who is willing to help themselves. And that is the role of the Wiscopios. Not only just being a hoop dancer, but it's all part of our medicine wheel, our culture. And in the medicine wheel, we have the four sides, the four parts of the medicine wheel to represent for those four sacred directions of Mother Earth. And in the medicine wheel, what is it? It teaches us about the four parts of ourselves, which is the physical, the mental, and the emotional, and the spiritual. And that makes a, a whole person. And that brings us to the four parts of a person, which are the spirit, because when you're born, that initial spark of life that happens inside of your mother's womb, that's that spirit that comes in. And then eventually your body starts to form and then you're born into the world, which brings us into the physical part, your body. And then after that, after you're born and you start to experience the world, you learn your language and you learn how to use your senses, basically that represents for your mental side of yourself. And then last but not least, the fourth part is the emotional, how we react to the world around us, how the world shapes us as an individual and, and who we become to be based off of our emotions and what we know and who we are. Now, as a musician, I've come to know that music is a universal language of the world. Everybody can understand that. And everybody has their own key. But the key is to stay in tune, which teaches us about balance again. So I've come up with these four keys in my experience as a hoop dancer and, and with my culture, learning the Cree traditions and the culture, is the first being awareness. We've got to be aware of ourselves and our environment. The next being balance. We have to balance those elements of the, of the medicine wheel to keep ourselves balanced. And then the next part being purpose. We all have to have a purpose in life. And then the last being respect. Respect all things. Respect yourself. Respect your neighbors. And that just keeps going around and around and around the circle. Any which way you want to take it, you can, you can take that any which way you want to go. Now, for the hoop dance, it also connects us to the Olympic rings that you see the athletes in during the Olympics. And those rings are different colors. And those are the same colors that are the primary colors of the earth. And those colors, they represent for the colors of the world. So with those Olympic rings, we can connect them to unity because they're all connected. But then when we bring it back to the hoop dance, it also represents for those four directions. And we see those four directions throughout life and Mother Earth and everything that exists in Mother Earth. And so when we work those circles together, we reconnect the circle because somewhere along the line, the circle has been broken with human beings and nature. So we need to find how to reconnect that circle simply by just studying and living in a circle. So my advice to you, based on the things I shared here today, is you need to find somehow, some way to become one with nature, to reconnect in that circular world, because we don't just live in a linear world. It's evident in the universe the earth is in a circle, the sun is in a circle, and all the beautiful creatures Together, they're all part of that circle of life. So my advice to you is start following that. Start following that circle. It's there to guide you to live a healthy and balanced life. And soon, you will realize your potential, your dreams, and you will start to live in a circle. Thank you. Hi, hi.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to perform for you the hoop dance. But before I perform today, I want to point something out very important that, that came to my attention before coming to this TEDx. This was not planned, by the way. Today is Friday the 13th. We all know that, right? Today is Friday the 13th. And like I always do, like I always perform this routine, and this routine is really old routine, I'm performing my 13 hoop routine today. And the interesting thing about this 13 hoop routine is it's in honor of the 13 moons because every year in our lunar calendar we have 13 moons that circulate the earth. And one other cherry on top that I thought I would share is tonight is a full moon. So it is so perfect that I'm here for TEDxYYC. Thank you. <laughs> 